hi welcome now I am going to show you how to bring or import uh, fixed width data inside the excel worksheet ok so we are going to handle a fixed width uh, data file and we will bring it to excel I'll show you what is the file available ok I have a file called fixed length you see this is the fixed width uh, data file which I have and uh, you can see here uh, the data is arranged in the fashion that uh, properly uh, its face embedded properly so that uh, each field is look uh, neatly and uh, it is not uh, uh, you know zigzag in the field size it is exactly the same like field size for example you see the expense up to this is one field okay and uh, my file has the header also okay month sales and expenses okay we are going to bring this data inside the excel sheet how do we bring okay we go to file open okay browse i'll go to the browsing i'll go to the my directory and bring the fixed length text okay sometimes you may not see your files because it may put uh, default on excel files so you need to change for all files or text files okay fixed length then open okay happen you open it will show you text import wizard okay it will tell you that uh, this with us is this wizard is same like the delimited uh, files when we open delimited the same wizard is coming it will tell you what uh, what kind of data it is whether it is a delimited data or fixed with the data you say it is a fixed with the data okay uh, it itself identified it's a fixed with fixed with the data okay start import row at row number one or you want to skip some rows and import i want from the row number one okay my data has headers or not yes it has headers because i have month sales and expenses okay then click now it shows you where you want to place your your uh, what is the size of your each column okay where do you want to put this separation on your columns the break lines okay so this one is correct it is putting on expense see this one is not correct because the one is moving here so you must be very careful on drawing the lines okay okay it looks fine so you must know the length each field's length you must know okay so according to that you must know uh, this is six in my case the field length is six okay so that uh, you will place the proper break lines okay then if, we, if it is not correct the default you you move okay if you move it in the middle of the data then the the column will be split okay next first column is the text field as usual is a month names second one is the sales and third one is the expenses both of them are general general means the numeric values will be in numbers and the date values as dates the remaining values will be in text okay finish it up okay you can see here the data is separated properly according to the fields we defined okay the actual the actual data is fixed with the data is here but it is separated into different columns here write it in the different columns here. this is the way you can open a fixed length file and bring it into excel okay i will show you one more way that is very uh, sometimes what will happen you are uh, doing something suddenly you want to bring some 
explain the data inside the excel sheet and do something or merge some data thus that kind of times what you can do is simply you will go and open the file okay and uh, copy the data okay and copy it and put it into excel sheet somewhere okay in my case i put it in column f now but uh, when you see the data it is not in different columns it is in the same column okay but it is in uh, the order is row by row that is fine but only thing is it is not in different columns in single column now what you are going to do is I am going to separate this into different columns how can I do that okay what I can do is I just select the column where I pasted my data go to data you have a text to columns okay this will help you to split the text into columns text to columns now the same wizard same kind of wizard which we worked on before is popping up okay is a fixed width yes the same thing like now also you need to define where do you want to put your break lines okay you don't want the break line you can double click it will go you want a new break line you can put it also now you see whether the data is no so you just move the break line okay okay fine go to next this time it will ask you the column attributes what kind of column it is first column is a text second column is general third column is also general okay fine now where do you want to put your uh, data the f dollar f dollar one if you put this one it will replace this data we want it in a new place okay i'll put it in h starting from h just put one cell the starting cell that is enough okay now press okay see the data is splitted into different columns this is what what we open the same result has been given by copy paste it and use text to columns okay this will be useful when you do a, s a small set of data and you want to merge it or you want to do it some operations with the existing file itself okay of this video is helpful to you if you if you like my videos just uh, press like and also subscribe to my channel okay have a good day